<laughs> Elisa and her father shared a special bond. She celebrated her fourth birthday with him and her mom by her side. But it was the last one she celebrated with her father. He died of COVID two months later. Elisa's mother tells me that the isolation due to the pandemic made it much harder for Elisa to cope with the loss of her father. She's been very restless and kept asking me where daddy is. She asks me when he's coming back and says that she wants to hug daddy to go to sleep. She feels the empty space of a father who is always there to put her to bed. Eliza is not alone. According to Iranian authorities, more than 51,000 children have lost a parent to COVID. I've been speaking to many of those families and a psychologist about the impact on these children. Children who lose parents feel that life is unpredictable, it's uncontrollable, that things happen to them, and they've lost agency as a result of controlling this. So they doubt themselves, and, and that can be a very vicious cycle. Eliza's mother is now her only guardian. She's been trying to help her daughter cope with the trauma. She has become very attached to me. She's scared of losing me. She does not let me out of her sight for even five minutes. She's become very clingy, nervous and aggressive. She's worried that, like daddy, I might leave without saying goodbye. It's not just a trauma that these children are coping with. When the pandemic began, the Iranian economy was already struggling under sanctions. Many of the families I've spoken to are also facing economic uncertainties, especially those who have lost their breadwinner. They now have to provide for their children on their own with little or no support from the government. They also have to live the rest of their lives with bigger questions left unanswered. Iran's anti-West Supreme Leader banned the import of U.S. and U.K.-made vaccines last winter. Several months ago, someone in my country banned the import of foreign vaccines. And the result of that ban is this, my father's grave, and so many others like him. And although vaccines are now being imported, for many like Eliza's father, it's too late. Not only do these children have to deal with the loss of a parent, but they also have to live their lives wondering whether their death could have been prevented. Rana Rahimpur, BBC News.